right guys welcome back i know it has been a long long time it's been several months actually and um just want to get back on here and and show you guys a new toy first of all uh but then let you guys know what's going on so about a year ago i started messing with 67 impalas uh doing the supernatural replicas and it started out just for me and i sold my first one well, then that kind of snowballed into a second business for me, and I started building them for other people. So right now, we actually have seven. Uh, and if you look at TikTok, it, it's kind of weird because on TikTok, that's where I started posting the 67 videos, and that seems to be all that anybody on TikTok wants to see. YouTube, on the other hand, my most popular video is Corvettes, and Corvettes have always been you know that that's just one of the cars i fell in love with as a kid and you know i've talked about it here before as far as getting one to keep long term and i thought the 81 that i had was the car and ended up selling it and i've had a couple since then but nothing really worth doing a video on well last week i picked up a 2006 uh it's the base model 3lt six speed and I've had it for a week. I, I, you know, drove it from Virginia home about three and a half hours and figured I'd give you guys my opinion on the C6 Corvette from somebody that has never owned anything newer than a 96. Uh, all I've ever had was C3, C4s, and that's where my heart has always been. Uh, I actually sold a 95 Corvette this morning. So I drove it about an hour and 45 minutes away, come home getting the 2006. And it's strange because everybody loves to complain about the interior of the C6s. And they compare it to the C8s. And I don't feel like that's a really fair comparison. The sticker on this car was $55,000, $56,000. And the sticker on a C8 is going to be close to 100,000. Now I know there's some time difference there. We've got inflation. You got to account for that. But if I had another $40,000 to put into this car, I guarantee you the interior would be a lot nicer. The one I have is a 2006. When you look compared to the other 2006s, whether it is the Nissans, the Hondas, pretty much anything out there. The interior is very comparable to what that year was. And I've said it before, I said it in my C4 video, the Corvettes were made for a purpose. They were made to be driven. And you're, you're not going to have a Porsche interior or a McLaren interior. You're going to have what Chevy did. And Chevy was never known for the best interiors of any cars. But they were functional they lasted and they were just generally good cars now one of the big things i noticed about the car and it may just be me i mean i i've you know got stigmatism i absolutely hate the heads up display it aggravates my eyes i cut it off pretty much every time i get in the car and it just it just it bothers me i don't want something on my windshield when i'm driving down the road i want to just be able to see the road I've got gauges, the gauges are there for a reason, so that's what I'm going to use. Now overall for the car, I found it to be a really, really good driver, and for the money, it's hard to get something with this much power, this fun to drive, that's a fairly nice car for under $25,000. And I feel like the C6 right now is probably one of the best budget cars you can get. When I looked at this, when I was looking at the C5s, because $20,000 you can get a Z06 right now. But then when I started looking, the Z06s, I, I was looking at 2001 to 2004s, and the Z06s were about 405 horsepower, unless you bought one that was built. I'm not a fan of that, because I, I know that if they've built it to be five, 600 horsepower, they're gonna beat the absolute shit out of it. And that there's no way around it because most of the C5s that I've seen are kids. And they they just beat the living crap out of them. 
and that's just not really something I want because I'm looking for something that's going to last. Well, for the same price range, I got the 06. I paid 23000 for it, and it's in great condition, 59,000 miles. And it's a car that has the same power as the Z06. And for an everyday driver, 400 horsepower is plenty. It's a big step up from the C4s at 300, but it's just a fun driver. The interior is updated enough. I honestly like the 95, 96 interior as good, if not better, than the C6. The C6 looks good. I don't really have a, a complaint on the build quality, but I just like the old interior. I mean, it, it felt like it surrounded you more. But where the C6 does have the advantage to me is getting in and out. The C4s were just a nightmare to get out of, which is the reason that most of the time the steering wheels had the wobble. C6 is a lot easier to get out of. It rides better. You have the extra power, but you still have about the same fuel efficiency. And it's just a really, really fun car to drive. So after having it for about a week, I've got to say, I, I think it is a great car. I'm curious as far as the headlights, because I know those are, once they start fading, they're, they're expensive to repair. So I'm curious how that's going to work. This car stays in the garage most of the time anyway, but you're still driving it. So you're still going to have some fade from the sun. Now time will tell what I think about the car a month or two months from now, if I even have it that long, because I just typically don't keep cars that long. But as of right now, coming from a C3, C4, I think it's a great car. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, I skipped the C5, and the main reason I skipped over the C5 and didn't even look at it, I like the front end, I like the taillights that go up, but there was just something about the rear end, the way it bubbled out, I really just didn't like the rear end of that car. So it was something, if it would have had the C4 or C5 front end and the C6 rear end, that would have been a great car, I think. And I think I could have dealt with that a little better. But the big bubble butt on the C5, I just couldn't get past. From what I've understood, I've got a couple friends that have C4, C5s, and they absolutely love the C5. They think that it's the best generation you can get. But for me, it was just something that just didn't jump out at me because of that rear end. And because if I went with the C5, it was going to have to be a Z06. And for the same money, I was able to get a C6. So we're going to do a few more videos on the car before we go because I, I want to give at least a two to three week review on it. So before I get rid of the car, we're going to do a couple more. Uh, but I'm going to link my TikTok. You guys can go there. I've been posting there a lot, a lot more because it's easier to do directly from my phone versus trying to get out the camera and edit the video for YouTube. And plus, I feel like with YouTube, I've, I've got to give you guys better quality videos. I've never been a video editing guy. And until about a year, year and a half ago, I was never even a video guy. I stuck to photography, and that's all I did. But I, I do feel like it's unfair for me to have people that are still subscribing. Yeah, because for some reason, the Corvette crowd loves the videos. Uh, it was funny. The guy that I sold the car to this morning, he actually, once he met me, he knew me from the C4 video. Where I talked about my opinions on it, so I thought that was kind of kind of ironic to sell a Corvette to somebody that actually knew me from that video, and that video is over a year old. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below also. So I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on the C6, and like I said, we're a week into it. I just got it last Thursday, so today is day eight on having this car. So. I just wanted to you know, jump on here and give you my opinion, tell you what I thought of the car, and uh, let you guys know we'll be back and do some more videos soon.
talk to you later.